Section 2 admin dashboard overview. Okay, so now that we have chosen a starter template, you can click on your created website and choose edit site. This is the admin dashboard. In here, you can see metrics uh, about your clicks, your traffic over time, users, sales, push notifications, and much more. You can connect your custom domain. You can book a meeting with your account manager. You can see if you have running ad campaigns. You can see if you have attached analytics and some custom scripts. You can see the MSB affiliate program and much more. Okay, let's start by going to the main event, the site builder. Click on site builder from the menu on the left. In here, you can see all the functionalities that constitute a website or mobile application. You can see your site menus, your custom pages, page permissions, you can see your stores, products, services, bookings, so on and so forth. The next section is store. Inside the store section, you can see your orders, abundant cards, bookings, subscriptions, if you have subscription services, you can see claims that the users have made about some problem uh, in your delivery or system overall. You can add your delivery settings for online stores, you can add your payment settings, you can add some uh, taxes settings, which are regional, or coupons and vouchers. In the business tool section, you can create price quotes, invoices, credit notes, debit notes. You can set your invoice settings for automatic invoices. You can also create an inventory for your online stores. You can see more site analytics and you can add on-site ads and monetization on your website. The next section is users and customers. In here, you can see the email lists, you can see your user accounts inside your website or mobile application. You can set your admin management. You can see your newsletter contacts, your leads, which are people that have uh, bought something from you. It could be a booking. It could be an actual product. It could be a subscription service. You can see unsubscribed users from your email lists. You can send push notifications to mobile devices and you can further set up the automatic emails that the uh, MSB system sends to your users. And finally, inside SEO and analytics and external scripts, you can add your Google Analytics for script, your Facebook Pixel, Google Search Console scripts, tag managers, or overall custom scripts. 